time to get the job done. A bit is the shit. Hello there. Welcome back, the 8-bit driver guy. And you may notice things look a bit different today. Yeah. Don't ask about the Charlie's wave, I don't know. It just come natural. Uh, anyway, we're an American truck simulator. We're in a freight liner. We have a double trailer, tandem trailer, flat with uh, that on the back. It's a plow thing, I think, for a farm thing. I'm sure farm sim players will know what it is and will be able to tell me in the comment section. But um, we're in Kayenta, I think that's how you pronounce it. And we are heading east into Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's 307 miles. And I'm using six speed shifter with clutch and my trusty old Thrustmaster C300 RS GT wheel. All the music you can hear being played is all made by myself. Links in the description if you're interested. I have two music channels and links to both are in the video description. Off to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Keep reminding myself to change gear because I have been playing a lot lately with automatic gears. Cruise control. 65 mile an hour. There we go. So today I've took the time to set up my uh, second camera. Thought it might give everyone just a different view of things. Also, I have set up my uh, ring light to light up the wheel. I've noticed in previous videos the wheel looks uh, a bit dull, a bit dark. It's actually my uh, Mrs. 8 bits. Spotlight that she uses for Instagram selfies. I've uh, borrowed it. Uh, my wheel light. Ooh, it's quite bright. Anyway, so I hope you're all doing super well. Staying safe. If you're uh, like me here in England or the UK in general, I hope the cold weather's not getting you down. Been chiller. I know it was only uh, just over a week ago I mentioned some big changes to the channel and I haven't really stuck to it that much since I made the announcement. I think the only thing I have stuck to is some videos I've been doing commentary some have still got music in but I haven't been able to keep up with the daily uploads quite difficult with me and the family for me to actually get time get peace and quiet to actually sit down and make a video But things are looking up in that department because Mrs. 8-Bit has recently started a new job which will be different hours. 19 ton. Ooh. That's the trailer 19 ton, not Mrs. 8-Bit. 
Um, so yeah, she started a new job with different hours, which means I'll have a lot more free time because she'll be working more while the children are at school. So I'll have more time alone to set up my light and my second camera. Hopefully I have more content for you guys. As cruise control, sit back, relax. Got my fairy dice today. And uh, anything else? Oh, I'm quite boring with this truck. I've got nothing inside. Just my furry dice. Both though. No, that's all you need. So yeah, with um, me having more free time lately to make videos, hopefully I can uh, make more videos and more varied videos because sometimes I get stuck in the rut where all I'm doing is truck sim videos and you know I do play, play truck sim quite a lot both ATS and ETS too but I also do play a lot of other games not all driving games I have second PC there with a second monitor where I can play uh, Call of Duty and various other games that I do play I have Call of Duty Black Ops, is it called? The new one? Not Black Ops. Cold War, that's the one. <laughs> Couldn't even remember the name. I have Call of Duty Cold War. I got it as a free gift when I got my PC last year. I think it was to make up for the slight delay because my PC was being custom built around the time the 3080s were released and there was a bit of a shortage. Shortage. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah. I think when I ordered my PC, I had to wait an extra, like, I think it was four weeks altogether, I think, from the initial day, date that I was given. It was a month delayed because of graphic card shortage. But, glad I got it when I did, because it was six months later, the same graphics card that I have was selling for twice as much. I don't think I could afford to buy a new PC nowadays. Prices of things skyrocketed. Oh, I've just missed the green light. I suppose this is a good excuse for us to check out the truck. Great line. No. <laughs> Cascadia. On this account, it's called Chuck Liddell. UFC fighter Chuck Liddell. I think I'm going to have to show you why now. You're not going to be able to see his brand the picture. <laughs> mm. But the character, the face that I've picked for this account looks like Chuck Liddell. Slightly. Mm. That was a fail. Anyway, let's go. Green light, green light. Let's not keep waiting. Bad habit of a... Uh... <laughs> Looking around, enjoying the view, missing the green light. But yeah, on my Chuck Liddell account, I tried to keep it um, a bit of a pattern going with all the trucks I owned. But for a while, all the trucks were black. With some, like, grey or silver trim. Tried to make all my trucks look like it was part of the same company. Then with making videos, <clears throat> excuse me, it got boring every truck looking black, so I started painting some different colours. I did a bit of variety. Come on, truck in front, let's go down. Oh, I'm on a red light now. See that? Get me waiting. He'll speed off now, he's done his job. Or maybe not. Hmm. Anyway. Oh.
anyway let's do some shout outs respect and shout out no, I'm just joking sorry but shout out to Mr Farquhar <clears throat> excuse me recently been moving house so he's um, not had videos uploaded every day but he's back now with new videos and if you're not already subscribed or you've not checked them out I really recommend checking out Mr Farquhar there is a section on my homepage of channels worth checking out and he's on there can't recommend it enough absolutely fantastic channel very professional books in videos farms in videos spin tires not spin tires what's the new one snow runner is it yeah snow runner oh god getting all muddled up but can't recommend mr farquhar enough one of my favorite channels go check him out also black country blitz pc gaming also there's a link on my homepage to his channel Stay right. live streams turn right. from great britain mr farquhar also from britain um but black country blitz pc gaming turn right. live streams truck simulator um some call of duty videos excellent go and check him out brilliant videos top guy good fun to watch also we have driver 2.0 i mentioned him before he's recently changed his channel name to um is it trucks planes trucks trains boats and planes i think if i've got that the wrong way around i do apologize but also is in my uh, section of channels worth checking out and either live streams truck simulator oh the one i was watching last night was brilliant deadliest catch on a boat and again great guy great channel great videos And I'm missing. There we go. Locking all the road, but it's okay. It's my road because it's my game. I bought it. That truck didn't. Quote <laughs> of the day. I can block the road on ATS because it's my ATS. Yeah. Since we've been spending a lot of time on these smaller roads and red lights. Turn left. On the curb, but it's okay. It's like I said, it's my curb. <laughs> That's the first time I've used my second camera over there. Yay! So, um, the angle might not be perfect. The picture might not be perfect. Because it's OBS that I'm using, so, as everything with OBS, it I seem to have to spend weeks and weeks of testing and trial and error and changing things around before I get it good. And then when you come off OBS and turn your PC off and go to bed or do whatever, then you come back and put your PC back on and you open OBS. And everything's like different from the way it was when you left it. I don't know if that happens to everyone or if it's just me, but I do find it slightly annoying. Especially with the audio options. <clears throat> Every time I open OBS, I have to um, deactivate some of my filters off the microphone and then activate them again. Don't change any of the options or the perimeters. Don't change nothing. Just deactivate it, activate it, and it resets and everything's back to the way it was. But I mean, you know, PC gaming, what can I say? I think 50%, maybe more, of PC gaming involves sitting there looking at uh, menu screens and graphic setting screens and whittling and tweaking. Getting what you think is perfect, and then a week later you notice something's not perfect, so you're back in the options, tweaking away. Like a musician in the recording studio when they're mastering the track. It's constant tweaking and fiddling and messing around, trying to perfect it. do miss the ease of using my old um, capture card. Fortunately, HDMI input and output, I play um, with DisplayPort. So, 
capturing through HDMI was awkward. But once I got that sorted out, I had my PC running on a um, new screen setup. One through the HDMI capture card and one through the display port for my monitor. And then it was, you know, to record a video. You used to press a button on top of it. It was recording 60 frames a second, but only 1080p. So easy. Stay left. No. Then turn left. I don't use the capture card. It's it's packed away in a drawer at the back there. And I'm on OBS. And oh. Turn left. Speaking, twiddling, watching YouTube videos, trying to find out what to do, how to make it sound better. Hopefully, we're there now, we've got everything running great. But, you never know. Like I said before, PC gaming. Ooh. I don't know if I can get used to having a camera over there. I keep feeling like I should be waving and smiling at it. <laughs> Hi! Oh. I don't get out much, you know. <laughs> so, we've not actually been on a um, highway, freeway. I mean, I don't know what they're called in America. I've not been on an American version of a motorway yet. So it might take a while. Stay right. 300 mile Stay journey. Right. And these normal roads. Turn Suppose right. in a video, this might make it more scenic. It's not just hills in the background we're seeing. Oh, press the wrong button. Press the wrong button and nearly overshot my turn. Gets fiddly sometimes. Especially when you're turning and then you're trying to find the buttons. Yeah. Oh, slightly speeding. There we go. Oh, now we're in a nice fast road. 70 mile an hour speed limit. Pedal to the metal time. I could be my new song. Let's get it up to six gear. Cruise control, wheel on my mouse. Bumps the cruise control up in sections of five mile an hour. Oh, got it at 70. Now I can sit back and cruise. Control. I've just realised as well now, if I have the camera showing me from over there, that means I've got to start like making sure my hair's okay and making sure I'm not wearing one of my black and red jogging suits. I have to start thinking about what I'm wearing and how I look, don't I? Here we are now in the middle of nowhere. Just gonna pull that over into this lane. No point hogging the overtaking lane. Now let's try and get an external shot and uh, see if I can manage to not roll my truck. <laughs> well, that was a very short external shot. Think to check my fuel. Where are we there? About quarter full. Oh, but we'll be okay. We have enough fuel. Watch out for wildlife in the road.
So who's excited for the Texas DLC release for American Truck Simulator? It's Texas, big, big state. It's gonna be one big, big DLC. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting more maps, like going east. I suppose that's all we can go now really can't we because we have, we have the whole west side kind of pull up to bottom now we're just working our way across looking forward to doing some deliveries to New York because no doubt in the distance you'll be able to see Manhattan and everything I don't think they're going to be able to drive through Manhattan because I mean I think that, that I think they're just gonna make it so you can see it in the distance. It's fine with that. It's just a lot of straight roads anyway. Lots and lots of traffic lights. And uh are they gonna do Alaska? Are they gonna do Hawaii. Because that will be um, a ferry. A ferry ride from somewhere to get to Hawaii, wouldn't it? Which we haven't got that in ATS yet, so something new. I'm sure Hawaii is one of the American states. But as I've said before in previous videos, geography has never been one of my strong points. Most of what I know has come from football and from Truck Simulator. I did learn some at school, but I mean, I'm 44 years old, I left school a long time ago. I only just remember my teachers' names. <laughs> I get friend requests on Facebook, and I'm like, I don't know who these people are. And they're like, hey Paul, do you remember me from school? I remember you, oh you were so funny. I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I remember you mate, yeah, nice one, nice one, how are you doing? I haven't got the foggiest do they are. I went to two different high schools. I did three years in one school and then left and then did the last two years at a different high school. Very difficult time. But, um, and now, it's been quite a few years since then. It's one big blur of high school. Not my happiest times anyway at high school. Didn't really like school. Didn't like education. Didn't like authority. Didn't like sitting in a room all day with a pen in my hand, writing things down that I knew I would never ever need to use in the real world. My best one is teachers saying, Don't use your calculator. It's not like when you're grown up, you'll be taking a calculator with you, with you everywhere you go. They obviously didn't know about mobile phones. Because I do actually take a calculator with me everywhere I go. More traffic lights. And we're hitting the, uh, the old two-lane freeway, highway. Oh, here we go. and empty so we can just pull straight in let's get it up to speed cruise control relax for a bit 75 mile an hour
21 miles to go. Hasn't taken as long as I thought it would, to be honest. With America, USA being so big, Stay left. there's quite a few of these states. New Mexico, Arizona. Turn left. Look, very similar. Oh, oops, wrong one. Hey, <laughs> quick, we're going to miss the green light. Thank you. But they all, all have a slight similar look. There's a uh, odd green bits, hills, cliffs. Flatland, big cities. Very different from the Euro Truck Simulator. Until we got Spain. Spain has a very similar look to this. Iberia. Spain and Portugal. Stay right, and then turn right. I'd turn say, right. my own personal opinion, American Truck Simulator is easier. Euro Truck Simulator because the roads are bigger and wider. Everything seems more spaced out. There's some very, very tight roads, Euro Truck. Especially some of the uh, roads taking you onto the motorway. Ooh. FedEx, UPS. Come on, oh I can go, I'm on American truck. We can go right on red. So that's the problem with uh, playing American truck and Euro truck as much as each other. Which we get sometimes the little, the little details. I can see on my mini map there, we're coming up to Santa Fe. Let's cruise control it again. Stay right, and then turn right. Will do. Turn right. I'd have it sometimes. I try and play little tunes with the engine brake. I do apologise. I think it's the musician in me because I do it when I make a, a cup of coffee stir the coffee and I always <laughs> tap a little tune on the top of the cup with a spoon to signify the coffee is complete <laughs> it's like I said earlier I don't get out much <laughs> Turn left. but you know when you've got a PC like this and games this good why get out in the real world and get cold and wet and things when you can just enjoy the real world from the comfort of your own home? We are finished. Uh, anyway, nice easy parking with a double trailer. Say that. It's still quite tricky to get it in here. Because the angle and... Ooh, there we go. We got it. Excellent. Let's get the handbrake on. And there we have it. That was today's video. We delivered our the attachments for a plow. I could be wrong. We'll find out in a minute anyway, because it's going to tell us. But yeah, we've done it. We're in Santa Fe. No incidents, no crashes. We didn't do roly polies. I'm quite impressed. Let's check out what the deal is. Yeah, I was right. Plows. It's the far cry, be proud. Plows delivered from Cayenta to Santa Fe. 305 miles. It took us 6 hours and 52 minutes. And we used that fuel and we got all that stuff there. Because I'm king of the road. And that is that. Thank you for watching. If you want to give me a big thumbs up, I would appreciate it a lot. Uh, subscribe or don't subscribe. Totally up to you. I'm an easy guy. You know, but uh, thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, well done. Well done. And I will see you again next time.